Do you remember Marla Gibbs used to do accent commercials? And then we had accent in the house once. And I was a big Marla Gibbs fan because of 227. <laughs> and I tasted accent and I was like, what is this? This is horrible. I don't know any of the words that you just said. <laughs> <laughs> Who knew it was possible to do two window shops in two days? Only Tony Caroga would dare to go that far. <laughs> Here's your host, Tony Caroga. <laughs> Welcome to Window Shop with Car and Driver, the now weekly show where we yeah, right. challenge ourselves to find cars for sale on the internet. And based on a challenge, this week's challenge was to find an odd, different, strange, offbeat car commercial. No, no, and no, 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 no changing, no change. It's the it? strangest. The strangest car commercial. The strangest car commercial. That's well, it. The okay. strangest. The strangest. Okay, that's what yeah, well, no, you can't. You can't give these people leashes with extra extra <laughs> slack in them because they'll run off in all directions. The okay. Strangest. <laughs> strangest car commercials. And I set the budget unlimited, which would open it up to all commercials. I think we're going to watch the commercial first and then present the cars afterwards. Um, this week, we're joined by Car and Driver's favorite contributor, Mr. Jonathan Ramsey. My executive editor, Mr. Casey Colwell, a senior editor, Alana Schur, and Road and Track senior editor, Mr. John Perley Huffman, joins us from sunny Santa Barbara, where he will kick it off with what he found. Cartier Jewelers is about to risk a rough diamond that could be worth $125,000 to test the ride of this new Mercury Marquis. Their man, Joseph Raffel, will attempt to split the stone while riding through New York City traffic. Struck precisely, the diamond could double in value. The slightest mistake, and it's worthless dust. Our speed, 35 miles an hour. How'd we do? Perfect. Beautiful. Mercury Marquis, with a ride that's steady as a rock. At the you know, here's here's things. I'm significantly older than everybody else on this. I, that's not true, I knew though. that commercial. I knew that. That's not true. <laughs> um. No, I, that's a good combo. Yeah, um, Tony, so, your commercial, your automotive commercial knowledge is surpassed only by your automotive knowledge. And oh. your knowledge of the n proper names for different kinds of windows. <laughs> no, I just, I just know jealousies. That's it. He doesn't just, just know jealousies. He's being, he's trying to hide it for when he... <laughs> I mean, I'm jealous of his incredible window knowledge. Um, I'm, I'm, lo I'm lost. I'm Early, lost. I sent you the. I sent you a link to a marquee, a '73 Mercury Marquis Brome. If you want to go through well, that, so, I don't think it's a '73. I think that it's, it's not. It's a '72. It's the same thing. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty close. I'll allow That's it. That's what you're worried about. We'll count it. We'll count it in this. Uh... Well, I like to see if I can find one myself. 1972 Mercury Marquis Brome. Or not Brome, whatever. For sale. Just, yeah, for sale. There you go. I think this this teaches us about doing two window shops in a week from now on. <laughs> Is that what that we're gonna take? That one's from this? junky. Yeah, go to Hemmings and there's a 73 there. Hemmings, Hemmings says it. Yeah. I picked that 73, which oh, looks that's a, that's, that's, a, that's a, a two door. You know, here's the matter. Doors. It's the same thing. Okay, here it is. Got covered headlights. Covered okay, Carlos. Reveal. Everybody ready? This is going to be such an editing nightmare for Carlos to make the sense of this. We put the bonus content at the beginning of the show <laughs> instead of the end is what happened. Okay, Pearly, tell us about this uh, 73. This is, is a 1973 a, Mercury. Is it a 460? I don't know. Let's find out. <laughs> it's a good thing. We're going to find out together. This is exciting. I yeah. like that commercial. The diamond cutting commercial is interesting. It's definitely strange. It's a 429. It's a 429. But is that how they, is that actually how they cut diamonds? Don't they just grind them? No. No. No, you got to cut they, them. They break them. Cut, yeah. they diamonds, diamonds are a crystalline structure. You can't. Yes, just... I, I know that. <laughs> the, I think you're thinking of the polishing part, Tony, which looks uh, like grinding. Right. But well, yeah, you, you can, you can cut them down, but uh, you can also. You know, I, this is going to be great for all the jewelers out there who are watching today's thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going to get a letter about this. Let's we're, if we get a letter about our diamond knowledge, it's going in the magazine. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, if there are any jewelers out there who you know want me to review their diamonds, <laughs> please feel free to send them over. You can wear them during the show. show. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. I will. I will. 
showcase them. <laughs> Send the ice to John I do a lot with my him. hands, you know. I talk a lot with my hands. So this one, this one's this this one is uh, carefully curated. I found this one after much much searching. <laughs> yeah, Why did you choose this one, Carly? <laughs> it's eleven thousand nine hundred. I, I, I was uh, Mercury, uh, Marquis, Rome, Rome. I mean, come on, that's a lot. That's a lot. I, of... I think Mercury's are really interesting because of how, like how much they move back and forth between being like affordable car and luxury car, you know, I mean, like the other cars that look like this are kind of in this category from the get go, like Lincoln and Cadillac and stuff. And Mercury is like, if you were, if you're look, like, if you're a Mercury person from Ooh. the 30s versus a Mercury person from the 60s, it's like totally different vibe. Well, it's also like, it's These like ashtray details are getting me. I know. <laughs> it's, also, it's also like Mercury would always start off with something that went like, you know, the first Cougar, the first Cougar was great. And then it just got worse and worse and worse as it, as it aged. Why it just, is that? They that's took money like out me. Of it, I feel that way too. <laughs> yeah, well, that's it's probably that's just problem. entropy, Pearly. That's just entropy. <laughs> oh, great. Wait, now isn't getting... that isn't that thermodynamics? Didn't we go over that <laughs> in the last show? So this is just astro. We're going to do astrophysics, thermodynamics, and diamond cutting today on Window Shop. <laughs> well, because I'm on and the space Mercury station. Marquis, bro. And Mercury so, Marquis, Bromes. What is, is that, that fab? Brick. That's what I was going to say. Is it perforated Luxury. or sparkly? I think it's sparkly. <laughs> it's just oh. dots. It's like polka dots, right? On the. Yeah. It's just wow. amber burns from all the butts burned in this. <laughs> That's, That's Virginia <laughs> Slim right there. <laughs> oh, it has, some, some yeah, it has a really deep Ford trunk. Those are super deep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what Ford used to be famous for. As you said, these really. Ooh, that lock cylinder looks. Oh, that's great. This is fantastic. Oh, these are wow. little. If you look, you can see the close up on the uh, upholstery there. You see, it's like little. Uh, it's like oh, little, like little stars. Yeah. Little asterisks on there. So. Mm. I think they're inspired stars. Rolls Royce. Yeah, yeah, I was just gonna say Rolls stole that from them. Well, that's yeah. a great car, Pearly. It sparkles like a diamond. Yeah. Okay. So okay. Matched. Okay. Okay. Now, now that I've completely embarrassed myself, let's go to the next person. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for that, Pearly. Thank you for joining us. I appreciate Good it. Good job. Um, who wants yeah. to go next? Alana, Jonathan, Casey, who wants, who's a hand raiser? Okay. I'll go. Oh, Casey, you go. We'll switch it up. All right. <clears throat> so uh, let me share the screen. And boom. And. Uh, <laughs> A wonderful commercial. It's great because nothing would have been stranger than Grace Jones. <laughs> so it's worth swallowing, the swallowing so the cool. car and burping. Sauvage. Oh, I heard the end. I heard. Yeah, the end. how bizarre! <laughs> yeah, isn't that great? That's a great. That's commercial. a great commercial. Uh, I mean, there. I don't think Grace Jones has ever not done something that was great. Agree. No, she's never been normal. No, uh, and leave it to the French. A strange car. Great. There you go, Grace okay. Jones. Totally. Here, let me see. Can I see if I can oh. share? Let me see if I can share it. I think mine will work. No, it's fine. Carlos, no, will, Carlos, will, <laughs> Carlos will work it. You guys don't want to hear it? No, it's we fine. Can hear Carlos. It later. Yeah, Carlos can. I'll take send it, it to everyone, and we can talk about it later. Well, I have. I have it here. Hold on a second. There it is. Okay. What are you? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this is the uh, the CX I found. It's a and series. Where is this? <laughs> it's in Europe. Right. Um. It's in France, uh, as it should be. Budget, and I use that. But I will notice that's a museum piece for sale right here. Oh yeah, a hundred uh, kilometer. Oh, <laughs> sorry, a hundred kilometers. kilometers. Sixty. It's got sixty-two miles on it. It <laughs> couldn't have left France. Let's <laughs> <laughs> like, not roll over. <laughs> Um, it looks pretty maybe new. It's, but it's they did manage it's to been put in a, great. They put a CD player in it, but it's a, this is a manual turbo. Uh, um, cool. With ABS. I think it's been in Grace Jones's mouth since that commercial. <laughs> <laughs> is where it's been. There's nowhere safer to keep a car. <laughs> <laughs> it's got the original Michelin MXL spare. Good, beautiful. Those are, those are the um, the air. 
like their horns, cylinders, right? Like the green things. Is that the, so, the so, red so, things? Oh, the, the red yeah. Yeah. The no. horns. Aren't those grenades? No, <laughs> yep. but that's for the pneumatic. That's for the pneumatic. Suspension. Yeah, it's for the hydropneumatic suspension. Pneumatic suspension. Yeah, those are the reservoirs for the suspension. <laughs> Oh, what do you look at those horns? Yeah, I don't know if those horns were. Uh, were... They might be Casey. They might... Oh, look at that! Oh yeah, they actually imported some to the United States. Exported some. Yeah, oh, there look was at that this... lean. There was an importer that brought a few. How in. slow was this? A diamond thing? in there. I don't this see a PR... horn here. So, but this is the PRV car, Casey, isn't it? The one that we tested, or is it a four? Oh no, it's the four. It's the four. Yeah. Mm. Is it turbo? The what? PRV? What? There's a PRV yeah. version? Yeah, the there was, I think there was a PRV V6 in the CX at some point, wasn't so. there? No? Oh. What did it run? Uh, it was not particularly quick, but for just 130 horsepower, you know, 10, 1 to 60. It's not bad. It's not bad. Would it be more or less I mean, fun than the Caterham on... Uh... On <laughs> lightning lap. I think this would probably be more fun at VIR. <laughs> it has less interior volume than the original Hyundai Sonata. Why do you know that? Why? Well, oh, because of why? You, why are we still asking? Not in the chat. I was like, <laughs> why do you know? Why do you know Sonata uh, interior volumes? Because interior we're volume on that episode, head. and it was like fifty cubic feet in front, fifty in back. It was like a hundred cubic feet for passenger space. Tony, uh, but this suspension, you could you could raise and lower it, and this shows obviously the the two two levels of height. And did, they, ooh, did yeah. Citroen though ever explain why you? Because that wasn't like you would never raise the car like that for any. Well, reason. you would. You know. You know what you. Well, you could, but you, for going on But you know the other thing you could do is you raise it up because it didn't come with a jack. You'd raise the suspension off, then you'd stick. Uh, you stick basically a platform in there, and then raise the suspension up to change the tire. Right. Yeah, and then lower it, and then you mm, voila, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> voila, <laughs> voila, um, <laughs> chef's kiss. <laughs> uh, but yeah, and then these are weird. I, I don't know. It's it's clearly this car is in. Uh, I believe it's in a museum. Oh, uh, it kind of looks that way. It's like a it looks like a limousine. It's beautiful. Um, no, but yeah, it's not beautiful. Total time capsule. <laughs> Pearl, you don't think that's beautiful? Come on. No, no. no. Very interesting. Oh, this claims a hundred and this claims a hundred and sixty nine horsepower. No. The, Euro, the Euro version might have been what? I mean, Europeans often had more horsepower, especially back then. Yeah. Yeah, but baby. What year is it? What year is this thing made? This, oh, this was like a this is like an 87 yeah this is an 87 so this is a late one right yeah i think they ran until 92 i think that's what uh, wikipedia told me <laughs> whoa is that the hold on that's the i didn't see that with the stereo there wow yeah. aftermarket yeah so it's it's got an aftermarket it's got an aftermarket stereo i mean so i mean people must just love sitting in this thing and listening to music because they certainly didn't drive it <laughs> uh, it's like so comfortable oh yeah look at that but I mean, yeah, just the placement, right. like how do you, that's a, just a, a wild place. They didn't have armrests. They didn't have arms back then. They wanted to put somewhere. This arm here. Hey, Ramsey, you're putting your arm French. around you somebody. Put, in yeah, guy. you put your arm on someone's <laughs> leg. That, your, your, no, you put your, your arm partner. around someone in a 97 Buick Park Avenue Ultra. That's no, what no, no, you have. No, 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 you, you, you're definitely <laughs> ripping a butt in this. So there's, you know, you have one arm out the window with a cigarette and the other one is on the knee of whoever's next to you. And then maybe you That's what we're calling knees now. Yeah, who needs to steer? It's a Citroen. Uh, but I will in, in in my in my Wikipedia research of this car. Um, so uh, there were intercooled ones. Um, I don't think this is an intercooled one because all the plumbing looks the same as the one from our test. Oh, uh, I don't know. But but um, I guess that could have been for more power. But I don't think so. It's a cool car. Good commercial. And too. is it is it worth seventy thousand euros? I mean, it's worth what somebody will pay for it. Um, True. Thanks, thanks for the you know. I mean, uh, but does, does it, does it seem? Jones? <laughs> I wish. I mean, I feel like the that Viper what? was <laughs> worth more than forty. I would pay forty for the Viper before I'd pay seventy for the Citroen. But that's just me. All right, Alana, you want to go next? I would love to. Don't, really get don't off judge me on on the price of this car. No one's coming after you. <laughs> um, all right. 
Luckily, this has no sound, so you don't have to worry. Uh, it just sounds like film. Oh. Oh. A car near and dear to you. Scr scratching the Alana's hitch. <laughs> I'm comfortable with that. <laughs> they really play this with no sound? It, it just has like sort of the scratchy sound of like a film projector. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, and then there's like some German at the end. Oh, does he does he use the headlight thing? Yes. Oh, there it is. All right, so it's not weird yet. I mean, it's a little weird. It, it's getting Jimmy, don't get too That's excited. Don't rub your hands together because he's got a lever on this. It's cool the way the headlights go up. It is. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> What is this? I'm gonna this I'm gonna need the link to this. This is a real commercial. <laughs> this is Immediately, a real commercial. this aired in what markets? Germany. wohl nicht so ganz. Na ja, das macht nichts. Wir sind sicher. Wir haben auch für Sie einen passenden Wagen. Is this a weight loss commercial? Oh, yeah. Somebody's gotta. We gotta get the translation for that. Yeah, we I need the know. translation for sure. What, uh, <laughs> what's but, happening so yeah i just I then there's a letter will run it <laughs> very strange i mean it's like it's fat shamey but also why would you sell a car by being like you can't fit in it the weirdest part being that actually um oh i forgot these things don't switch um actually the Opel i mean and the germans the germans would never space. fat shame <laughs> i mean they're not known for being a tiny people um <laughs> well, don't being it's just you know that guy is somebody that i guess they didn't see as the customer demographic yeah, <laughs> not not you know young. And they want you to know it. Yeah, and they want it, you know it was a lot of butt. So maybe it's a sex sells thing. I don't know. Maybe we're reading it wrong, and the government <laughs> were really into it. It was a sex. Um, That's probably the, it. The funniest part about it is that it was a lot of butt. It was a lot of butt. <laughs> um, the opal's actually pretty big inside. Um, no. Whoa, whoa, whoa! No, I okay. All right, hold on. The opal, you can fit a very tall person in an opal. Um, okay. <laughs> I, I used to carpool with someone who was 6'4", and width-wise, we had an issue, but like leg-wise, it wasn't that bad. The seat goes really far back. Uh, I actually, when I first got mine, before I redid the seats, I had to sit on a pillow in order to put the clutch in. So, Pearly, are you okay? Is Pearly okay? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm you know, not, you know how he hurting. is when I'm, I'm a little hurt by that. Um, he's not no, when, no, he, I'm, 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 when he knows he's not going to win. No, you know, no, he, no, he I, checks I, out. I, I I didn't sleep well last night, and I because I was driving. I drove back from uh, San Francisco last <laughs> night, and I, uh, I I took all the back roads. I didn't take 101 down. I took the 25 down, which was a lot of fun, but I just wiped me out. So, what cards you have? I was driving my truck. Oh, yeah. So <laughs> this is a beautiful example, Alana. Yeah, it's it nice. is. It's a nice car. A lot, a lot cooler than the ad car, as a matter of fact. Yeah, yeah. I think so too. Although, um, somewhere there's a picture of the brake fluid, Tony, and it it does need to. Be <laughs> oh, it didn't need to be. Replaced. And when when did pleated seats go out of fashion? Because like they haven't gone out of fashion. They've just gone out of cars. Yeah, they they look they look good. <laughs> These are the Opel had nice seats too. Not as nice as the Citroen, but um... exactly. Yeah, that's what I was thinking about. The but um, where do you see pleated seats anymore, Pearly? Oh, well, the, do you see them in Rolls Royces? Oh, do they? Yeah, you do. Yeah, yes, they do. And they have pleated they? seats. Yep, and they have pleated oh. seats in, some, in the LS five hundred. All right, I guess that's. that's all. Would you call a Ferrari Daytona seat pleated? Can we see the well, listing? It's, it's ribbed, Alana. Yeah. It's fiber ribbed. Um, fiber ribbed. Fibra ribbed. Oh, so wait, how many seventy four thousand kilometers? <laughs> this car, this car is in France as well. Um, I don't know where it is. Great or is that Netherlands? Yeah, England, I think. Um, 25,000 pounds. You won 25,297 great uh, British pounds. Yeah. 90 horsepower, but a very easy uh, engine modification to make it 105 horsepower. <laughs> How long have you owned yours, Alana? <laughs> um, I think seven years. It's a, it's, you know, I always, I always like these things. In the Netherlands. I always, I always like these things when they were turned into uh, gassers. Yes. They, they were awesome. They're, they're pretty awesome all the time. I think everyone should get one. It was actually very hard to find one. They're not that expensive, but there aren't very many for sales. So there aren't that many around. Yeah. It's like a baby Corvette, like a baby C3 Corvette. Exactly. 
but you can't, so you can only put a baby butt in it. No big butts. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, I will How turn far did you the commute? next guy. <laughs> How far did you commute in an Opal? Um, Like 30, 30 miles each way Oof. for like a year and a half, maybe. No Is air conditioning, right? This one, this, uh, no air conditioning. This is when you were working for... Uh, Not uh, really any heat either. Is this when you were doing uh, uh, the Roadkill magazine? Yeah, um, and Hot Rod. I used to commute with yeah. uh, Brandon and I. But I mean, you weren't going that fast, were you? Because it's 4 or 5? Uh, well, I mean, it depended on what time it was. But I mean, I, I took it out to like Willow Springs and stuff. I mean, it'll it'll go. It'll go. Oh, no, no. I was, I was talking about the, the commute. Like the commute oh. wasn't terrible. Like you weren't trying to keep up 85 miles an hour with... Well, I, I wish that I'd been going 80, uh, like, no, <laughs> the Opal would have no problem keeping up with 85 mile an hour traffic. I mean, right. it's a little hard on someone who's used to new cars because you're like, oh, should we be at 4,500 PM yeah, all the sure time? Yeah. But, but it's fine. It's, it's, the red line's like above seven. Oh, really? Yeah. All right, Jonathan, what strange commercial have you brought us? Um. Uh, so uh, I... Uh, was torn there is i have a favorite strange commercial but i found one that was stranger so i'm going to go with the strangest one since that was the challenge okay and i'm you going to scrutinize to, the cost of whatever vehicle you choose that's never. i did not scrutinize <laughs> any cost and i would never do that <laughs> that's not the kind of window shopper i am uh so <laughs> this one is it's got subtitles so i don't think we need volume, but I will. Papá. ¿Ese te gusta? Sí. 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 This is definitely strange. This is a car commercial? <laughs> Just you wait. <laughs> Look at all the love he's getting. He's getting bigger and bigger the more love he gets. This is what me and Brandon carpooling in the Opal look like. <laughs> really sad like Harry and the Hendersons <laughs> Jonathan this is amazing we have a theme going of not being able to fit in the car <laughs> Long is this? <laughs> it's like it's, it's, it's a full length movie. <laughs> yeah, it's feature length film. <laughs> We're halfway there. <laughs> How are they going to solve this problem with an automobile? They got to buy a truck. They got to buy a truck. It's definitely a van. It's a, it, I think I saw Seat Seat Altair. <laughs> My favorite shots coming up. Porque ellos saben lo que pasa con los monstruos. Crecen, y crecen, y crecen. Beautiful. I'm crying. The family is full of monsters, and they grow. This will be able to move them. Well, when you when you love them, when you love the monster, now I can't get the thing to stop. When you love the monster, <laughs> it grows. But that's but that's true. That's what happens to monsters. They grow when you explains a lot about my life. <laughs> uh, this is why I never love anything. It's not safe. <laughs> no, only it's only monsters, Alana. It's not about <laughs> anything. But how Just do you know? Monsters. How do you know who's a monster? <laughs> that's oh well. Better not to love anyone. <laughs> If you look in the back of your Seat and you'll see him if he's there. Uh, so, yeah, here's my also in Europe. I think this one is in uh, Germany. Um, Seat, Seat, Seat is, a, is a VAG brand, right? And it's made in Spain. 
Yeah, it's a yeah, the Spanish brand. Yeah. Um, but it was yeah. originally a Fiat brand, wasn't it? Way yeah, back when, yeah. yeah well, it, was Fiat brand. it was originally a Spanish brand, and then Fiat bought it. And oh, then, is that what it was? And then, then, yeah. then Fiat sold it to VAG. Exactly. Right. And so it, now they do the VW stuff, platform right. stuff. Yeah. Exactly. Platform and um. Did you have a curve for these photos, sort of. What'd you say? I was just admiring the. Uh, oh, the, the curb like, parking. Like, like a jeep, like a jeep owner parked it. <laughs> That's. Well, it's it handles curves and monsters. I think it's get the ad that. in the frame. What is that? It's to get the ad in the the billboard in the frame. That's why they parked it like that. Oh, is this um, this must be golf based, right? This is like a VW Golf high roof VW Golf like little MQB. minivan. MQB. Yeah, MQB. MQB. Yeah. MQB. Those tail lights look like a like a blood stain. Got that? <laughs> this is the most boring car ever. <laughs> Well, that's why they needed that ad. They needed that commercial to spice it up for sure. Yeah. Exactly, Pearly. They that's... went to the Citroen School of Marketing, <laughs> is what they did. What about those seats? How do they fit into the uh, to the seat? Uh... Well, I think this is. I think this is just cheap. What is this? Cheap VAW. Is <laughs> VAW VAT stuff? Yeah. Part spin. Um, but I mean, clean. And it'll get you everywhere you need to go. And oh, it's got a center tack. Oh, diesel. Is this a diesel? This yeah, is a diesel. It's a diesel. It's TDI. Yeah. Trailer hitch. Yeah. This well, you, you can't sell a car in Europe without a trailer hitch. Not one this shape. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. This would be perfect for your European Ooh, Uber episode. It's got a screen. What year is this car? What year is this car? <laughs> uh, this the monsters. Car is he'll be entertained. Um, this is. A it was it first registered in 2014? 2014. Okay, <laughs> I'm glad you saw that. Uh, it has been well used 150,000 kilometers, uh, only 8,600 euros. And I'm sure you could get them down to well below that, especially if you showed up with a monster. And <laughs> well, uh, they yeah, um, I just had the monster take it at that case, but. I I actually dig Sayat's like it is quotidian transportation, but it's not bad for what it is, and it's a huge discount over the cars the V the VWs they're based on. on and they usually have interesting design, although this one is not such an interesting design. No, but I think this this is also though the Malays years of uh, Sayat. I mean, they almost died, and now they've got good design again. Um, but they've always been solid transportation and they made some really cool stuff ages ago. So, yeah. Well, Beautiful. That, that was very weird. Also, I feel like um, I need to issue a correction, Tony, in case you're planning to buy that Opal uh, red line is 6,000, not seven. Oh, okay. It seemed pretty high. <laughs> All right. Um, let's see where it's, uh, it's not the right window. Uh <laughs> Prepare for the Chevy Corsica 1987 Corsica Alien commercial. Oh my God! Hold, stop, stop! Don't, don't press play yet. Corsica had commercials. Has anyone ever seen a Corsica commercial on TV? Does, Does anyone need to? They sold themselves. Well, I mean, initially, initially, you did need to see a Corsica commercial because you didn't know what it was. Well, yeah, Pearly, exactly. They sold themselves. You, you didn't like, need. It's, you it's did a not word need. Of mouth thing. You know, they, they sold themselves because the, 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 if you were, it was the car to buy when you were buying 6,000 of them, your name was Hertz or Avis. Well, and, and hold, hold on, but they also Corsica and Alien. Yeah. Is that well, what let's I'm saying? Watch the commercial. Let's watch the commercial. <laughs> oh my God. Better have butts in it. 35 millimeter. Whoa, that's a freaky ship. I thought it was a movie alien. Looks like a tick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This looks like an 80s movie, actually. I was just thinking about uh, different alien movies. Oh, is this expected to sell a car? I mean, guess what? Fair, it didn't. That could be asked about everything that we've seen today. 
Oh, no, no, no. Maybe the diamond one. The diamond one sort of. Whoa, those are. Wow, this is freaky. No, I can understand my monster more than this. <laughs> this is weirder. Yes. This is weirder. I agree. Look at those nails. <laughs> there are kind of. Oh. oh, my God. Her head was opening up. It doesn't even need sound. I apologize. <laughs> I just want to watch the visuals. I mean, do we even need to vote at this point? <laughs> I was feeling pretty good with that arm and butt, but... This is like seeing... Wow. Wow. I was feeling good with Grace Jones screaming. <laughs> That's... I thought... I thought the monster... Oh, it, look it's at something. all of the different different cars that they've... All GM brown. How long yeah. is this commercial? Wow. wow. <laughs> Speaking of butt. <laughs> wow. Yeah, there. I'm glad. <laughs> My only requirement, and it's been fulfilled. Wait, so did they send the clones back? No, they sent the real people back. They were just cloning the car for their car. But I mean, oh, there were people in both of those cars. Car and truck name in the universe. Well, yeah, oh. they were, but but I mean, but they're really just going to be back on the road, like, hey, that was wild, honey. <laughs> Let's. We invite you to see the new Chevy Corsica coming this spring. Wow. Hey, Look at what no I wonder they only had one commercial. So I'm. I, what I'm curious is where is Tony? Tony, you found a Corsica for sale. Yeah, oh yeah. Look at this. That's yeah. up to your standard. It's an LTZ. Sixty-eight hundred dollars. Well, wait until you see it. There aren't a lot of them left. <laughs> it's got the LTZ package. It's got that I nice mean, luggage rack on the trunk. It's got Hold the original on. interior. How many miles are on this? Manual original transmission. Original interior. Manual transmission. Yeah, before the airbag wheel. So I, I had a friend in high school who had one of these, and you could not stall this car if you tried. No. Oh. There no, I mean you could just you, first gear, take your foot off the clutch as fast as possible, and it'll just start rolling. Um, but I mean that and that clutch though was kind of slow and rubbery, wasn't it? Look at this GM oh, yeah. compass. That's not aftermarket. That's from the dealer. <laughs> yeah, yeah that dealer see. installed. It Who said I want bus. a compass? An altimeter. You need the altimeter for when you get abducted by aliens. <laughs> 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 Now, do they clone the altimeter as well, or is that or is it just the the things that came with the car? Dome light is an exact copy. Functional dome light. I mean, look, <laughs> look at that. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous car. Thirty three for three. Here, I think Ooh, it made one hundred forty on. horsepower. One hundred forty horsepower at this point. Multi port fee. <laughs> Got, it's pretty clean Charlie, underneath. Um, the use of the word gorgeous or beautiful, do you feel it applies more to the Citroen or to the uh, Corsica? Oh, he's muted. I muted him during the commercial. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, he's Early, talking about that, Carlos. Chalia. abducted people. That was Sorry, my I fault, I, was muted. I didn't realize I was muted. I was wondering why nobody was paying attention to me. Wow. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, Remember wait. Remember notes. High school. Yes. <laughs> to relive the good old days. Okay, if anybody, if anyone watching this show has good old days that involved a Corsica, please leave a comment or send us a letter. Yes. Anyone. We want to hear your Corsica story. They're all like they're all dead. You, or you know, you know the we, want to, we want to hear your Corsica <laughs> abduction story. You know, there, there are there are Facebook groups dedicated to like the Corsica and Beretta. Well, but there's there's Facebook groups for a lot of things <laughs> that that you yeah, that to... that shouldn't be uh no yeah. one should join. Um, although the Corsica, that's a pretty nice car. It's a good example. Come on, LTZ, that was not a pretty a nice car. car. No, what year is it? Uh, ninety, I think. Casey, I think it was nine zero. You would yeah, never have presented that if you didn't have if you didn't have the strength of that commercial to go on. You would never have presented that car. <laughs> it doesn't matter. We're we're judging commercials this week. <laughs> All right, now we've come to the part of the, the show. Boss. We've come to the part of the show where we judge each other's picks and crown a winner. Um, Mr. Colwell. Oh, wait. Who no, the, I start. Pearly. I start. Sorry, the, Pearly. You the Mercury Marquee, the Diamond Cutter, and the Briss, and all Sideways. that stuff. <laughs> no, we're cutting. We're cutting the Saturday Night Live one out. Hold I on. Are. are we? What are we judging? With Pearly, the Diamond, the Diamond Cutting. Oh, right. The commercial. I mean, it's it's weird. weird. It's an okay commercial. Yeah. It's yeah, okay I guess commercial. it's weird. I'll give it to you, Pearly. It's weird. Okay. 
Okay, Pearlie, what's your uh, what? What do you think is the weirdest commercial? Well, you think there's anything can be? You know, I got Grace Jones with an opal coming uh, with a citron coming out of her mouth. I got a, a fat guy trying to sit in an opal. I got. Uh, I mean, it's a weird bunch, but <laughs> but I got to go with the uh, Corsica commercial. That's the, that's the weirdest one. That's the weirdest one. All right, Casey, with Grace Jones, two thumbs up. Come that's on. amazing. <laughs> Hands down. What's the weirdest? Yeah, I mean it's 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 <laughs> aliens with like butt heads and and uh, cloning Corsicas for sure. Opening that's, butt that, heads. That is that that aired on television is in America. I mean, look, and not just that. The GM, the most yeah, white. Yeah. I mean, who said? Yeah, we're gonna take this to Renaissance, the Renaissance building or whatever it is. They're gonna be like, yes, that's the course of code. That's what and America it, needs to know. I, 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 I was, I was like, like looking at movies yet. too. You know, I was like, I was like, all right, well, when did Close Encounters come out or or when did ET come out? But like yeah. no, there's no like well, no, it, well, aliens, aliens came out the year before this. Before, the year yeah, before but the that's show. like that was like there were no like abductions in aliens. Well, you know, they're still in the zeitgeist. The alien, the friendly aliens are still in the zeitgeist yeah. from 83. I mean, alien abduction is never out of the zeitgeist in America. <laughs> so close encounter, most more of a close encounters kind of thing. Going yeah, I, I guess I was just thinking of it in terms of like the, trying to imagine the marketing meeting where they're like, oh, people really like this ET well, movie, think, you know, or something. You know, I mean, you, you also you have, to, you have to put yourself in the mind of GM in the 1990s, which was run by a whole bunch of guys who were wearing like double knit suits. And uh, you know, who lived in leather, who basically lived in leather steakhouse booths for the and drank well. And look, frankly, and, and thought, the kids will love it. The kids I will love they, it. I think they probably put LSD in the coffee that day. They approved <laughs> yeah. I'm going to say that that would play. I mean, that would play in a lot of the Midwest. I'm going to say like I'm. I think that, like the stretch from Michigan to really Alabama, everyone's going to understand alien abduction and Corsica. <laughs> All right, Alana okay. with the Opal GT commercial. <laughs> definitely odd definitely odd never seen we need, we need like a translation <laughs> um, and what are you picking is it grace jones the monster diamond cutter no, i mean it's all it's obviously yours for the same reasons everybody's already i mean it's, because so all of the other ones are weird but they're already like weird cars and they're also like european commercials and like a, if you can kind of be like well maybe there's like a cultural thing that i'm missing out on but like there is like no, i was here for 1990 like I was here for, you know, I know that car, like, I, I don't understand how this happened. And also the, that commercial is upsetting. These, <laughs> well, I, upsetting. I think the, the others are weird, short. but excusable. The wheels are weird, but excusable. Like, I'm like, okay, it's strange, but the course of the commercial is. <laughs> yeah. It's not, it's not right. right. Jonathan, monster, great ad, a little long, but great. A little long. <laughs> it might have cloned Dinah Shore in that it. He's asleep. I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dead. We're gonna get you out of here, buddy. Don't worry. <laughs> it's almost over. <laughs> Jonathan, <laughs> what's your pick? You've already won. All right. So it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what I pick. You've already won. Well, I want the sweep. I, I, I want to know what you think. <laughs> yeah. That's, I you care about it. your opinion. I mean, you're clearly already <laughs> abducted by aliens, you. and you're. Yeah, I mean, you're you're up there, and you know. Anybody knows the depth of aliens, Jonathan? It's you. <laughs> um anybody knows the truth it's jonathan that's, <laughs> i don't know i'm like what's your so, choice um great uh, yeah, a ton of strong contenders i'm really just trying to think of something else a reason i could vote for something other than the corsica justifiably but window shop integrity won't <laughs> let me <laughs> um yeah you get the sweep all right <laughs> that was Bizarre I'm assuming hell. I get all thumbs up since you guys have all you voted. Have to. Everybody, everybody but, voted but you got you got to vote for someone yeah. now. Yeah, oh, definitely. I'm definitely voting for Casey. Grace Jones, you can't beat Grace Jones driving into her Second own place. bizarre face. <laughs> no, it's incredible. <laughs> That's so cool. That's such a great ad. Uh, only only the French would come up with that great ad. <laughs> huh, maybe right. maybe it was the French. Who was the ad? We got to find out the ad. I see. We got to. I got to research this commercial. Well, the, the course it had to be yeah. Campbell Ewald. It had to be Campbell Ewald back then. I don't know. I feel like maybe that this commercial drove them to Campbell Ewald is what is no, what no, they, Campbell Ewald was theirs for a long time. I mean, oh, Campbell Ewald right. was was GM's for a long time. I don't know. Let's uh, I could read the comments, but I don't want this show to go any longer. <laughs> <laughs> we'll 
talk about it in the next episode, which we're All taping right. tomorrow, aren't we? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Please leave links to your favorite com car commercials or bizarre car commercials, and we'll let Pearly get back to sleep. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you. We'll see you next week. I hope. <laughs> see you guys. Thanks. <laughs>